Hi everyone and welcome back to Xgate Dental. I'm Emmanuel Kadosh and we are here to discuss new procedures in the field of dentistry. We will provide interesting new cases to exhibit how doctors use our products to solve complicated dental cases. Don't forget to subscribe and follow to stay up to date and let's get started. Today, what we want to show is how we planned the extraction and the implantation and made the temporary bridge. So what we see here is that this is a CT that was made after the implantation. And what we have is an inflammation around tooth number 15. So this tooth needs to be extracted. The patient has a bridge on his upper jaw. So in this case, because of the inflammation, we'll cut the bridge between tooth number 13 and 14. 14 is a pontic and we'll place an implant instead of the tooth number 14. So what we wanna do is we're placing two implants before the procedure. We have the osseo integration, then we cut the bridge in between 13 and 14 and we're placing an implant. This way, when we have two implants already osseo integrated, we can load the three implants, one of them just inserted into the jaw and two osseo integrated. We can remove a little bit from the occlusion and those teeth and the patient will have some kind of aesthetical solution for the upcoming two to three months. You can see here the tooth with the inflammation and you can see here the fistula. In the future, we'll cut between the 13th and 14th tooth. In there, you can see the place where we place two implants. You don't see it on the CT, but in this case, you have enough bone. You have enough thickness. We have two implants. We cut the bridge between 13 and 14, and we extract the tooth with the pontic and with the crown already. Everything at once. So in this case, the implant that we'll place will be instead of 14. We don't want to place the implant inside the socket because we have an inflamed tooth there. You have a problem with the tooth. You don't want to place an implant in an inflamed area. You probably It probably won't heal. You want to go through the safe place and not risk it. But in here, you can place near the inflamed part. So you can, at the moment of the extraction, place the implant. Here we can see the socket of the extracted tooth and we have the implant approximately to this socket. You can see here three multi-unit scan abutments. Three of them are in V-type multi-unit. The three implants are quite parallel. You can see that the screw channel goes a little bit to the buccal side, but in this case, right now, we don't wanna use angulated multi-units because we don't know what will be the height of the gingiva after the healing process. So we'll use straight multi-units. Later on, when we make another temporary bridge or when we get more prepared for the Zychronia bridge, we'll change the straight multi-units to angulated ones. The easiest part is to put straight multi-units. For the temporary bridge, you can mask with composite material the openings of the screw channels. So you don't have any issues. You don't, you don't want the, in the healing process with all the blood, with all the inflammation, to start using angulated multi-units, and you can make it much simpler. You can put three straight multi-units, and then you'll change in the future from straight multi-units to angulated ones when you know what height of the gingiva you'll have. In this case, you don't have any teeth opposite to those two molars. You have only in the inclusion with tooth number 14. So tooth number 14, you'll want to make a little bit shorter. So you won't have any excess force because it's an implant you just placed. But all in all, you'll know that you're quite safe because you already have two osseo-integrated implants. So this bridge will hold and it'll be fine and will be quite strong on those three implants. We close the screw channels, and as we said before, the screw channel goes into the buccal side. In the future, we will change to an angulated multi-unit, but right now, in this case, it's very hard to place angulated multi-units and do all this procedure while you have an open flap and a lot of blood and inflamed areas. You wanna make it as easy as possible. So you place straight multi-units, you make a temporary bridge, you'll give it a few months to heal, You'll mask it, the screw channel, with a little bit of composite so you won't be seen, and later on you'll take another impression and you'll make with angulated multi-unit the right angle with the right height of the gingiva. And you won't see the screw channel at all. Thank you everyone that joined in to learn some new and interesting information. Make sure to stay tuned for more, and of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. Thank you and see you guys next time.